talking dialysis mechanism the question is what is dialysis it is a procedure to filter toxins from the blood by artificial method when the kidney are unable to perform this function is called the renal dialysis and this is the mechanism or you can say this is a treatment that is done in the condition when you have completely renal failures your kidneys are unable to perform their duty then this dialysis is useful to uh, that is that's uh, work like the kidney works there are two types of dialysis the num number one is the hemodialysis that you can see in this picture class What happened in hemodialysis? It removes waste and water by circulating blood outside the body through an external filter called a dialyzer. Okay. As you know that your kidney is unable. Now what happened that you can see the blood is taking from this man's body, and it is going into this machine which is known as the dialyzer and here are different channels given in this dialyzer that uh, functions like the kidney function for our body which consists of tubes of semi permeable membrane in this process a catheter is inserted into a blood vessel usually in the arm you can see here that a heavy inserted one catheter in the blood vessels in the arm it routes the blood circulation extremely through a machine that removes the waste this is the dialyzer that removes the waste the clean blood then returns to the body through a second catheter here you can see this is the second catheter the hemodialysis machine consists of a pump and a container in which a network of synthetic tubes made of cellophane membrane here these are cellophane membrane called the dialyzer is situated the blood move into tubes dialyzer from top through blood pump after circulating through the dialyzer blood leaves the machine from the bottom okay here this is the top one area and then after moving from here it reaches the bottom fine and transfuses to uh, back to the body on the other hand dialysis or dialysis fluid here you can see these two plates the dialysis this is the waste material that is getting collected in this one and that this is a dialyzer fluid making a uh, pour into the ma machine from bottom which after circulating around the membrane tube leaves the machine from the top leaves the machine from the top the dialysis attracts certain substances mineral electrolytes and waste by products to cross the membrane from the blood the dialysis absorbs these substances so these are all the substances that were absorbed by the kidney in your body but now here we are using the dialyzer machine that is supposed to collect this all material from your blood and hence your blood get clears it is turned back into your body the next one is a peritoneal dialysis peritoneal dialysis is an other way to remove the waste from your body it is uh, involves in the use of natural membrane in the body here you can see this diagram this is the gut of your body and what happened that uh, here is a bag containing dialysis solution is inserted into your body with the help of this catheter peritoneal catheter this is a peritoneal cavity of your body what happened here that this fluid uh, dialysis solution is inserted into your body that get collects all the waste material from the gut and it get eliminated from or you can say it drain out it from the body peris peritoneum uh, involves the use of natural membrane in the body the peritoneum which encloses the abdominal cavity in this process two catheters are surgically inserted into the abdominal cavity that serve as the portals through which dialysate enters and leaves the cavity during circulation when blood passes through the blood circulation vessels within the peritoneum the dialysate attracts certain molecules to cross the membrane into the dialysate
class don't on your video next is the kidney transplant what is kidney transplant this is actually a surgical procedure of placing a fully functioning kidney into a person with chronic kidney failure i have told you about the two uh, kidney failures one was the acute and the other one uh, other one was the chronic in case of chronic kidney failure we can use this uh, treatment that is known as a kidney transplant what is the principle of kidney transplant here you can see the picture which can elaborate your answer the kidney graft is taken the kidney graft is taken from a deceased donor or from a related related or unrelated person okay this is a kidney of a donor person and here is the recipient fine here we are inserting this kidney into uh, into the receiver body recipient body it is usual to select donor kidneys on the basis of human leukocyte antigen matching as it improves graft survival a person can live normally with just one kidney yes we can survive with one kidney too uh, but just like the blood uh, transfusion we take we first match the blood in the way whenever we uh, whenever we do any surgery is it kidney transplant heart transplant or liver transplant whatsoever first of all we match the blood of the recipient and donor here you can see that this is the for recipient the kidney is available what is the process for the transplantation the old kidneys are left in place and do not harm you can uh, you can see that if we are placing or grafting this new kidney here we will note why i have left the class There is no need to remove the previous one, but we disconnected. Like here is the here you can see the ureter. We uh, we uh, we actually cut off the uh, old kidney from this ureter and these blood vessels, and we join the new one with this ureter and the blood vessels. Hence, new kidney is grafted into your body and it started to do its function. 